Hello lads, what's up? It's Jaden Tries. Welcome back to a brand new Minimus video. Today, I am not on my own. I am joined by the one and only Ronstosaurus. Hi. So, today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new minion, who, if I load him up here, where is he? Come on, stop hiding yourself. Mm -hmm. I can't find him. Oh, there he is. Right, it's Hippie Kevin. Right. So this guy, you get from the premium festival, as usual, and his ability is with the banana splitter. So this is the second Kevin costume we got in the game, and we're just going to play with it. I've just realised I can't actually download the content, so I'm going to have to find the Groove's Lab level. Give me a moment. Oh, there we go. Right then. Let's go. So, tell me, Ronnie, what do you reckon? What do you, what do you think to Hippie Kevin? Well, how many characters are in Minion Rush, and how many have you covered? Ugh, well, I mean, I've covered all of them, pretty much, since the game's come out. Um, there's 132 in the base game, and then there's two that you can only get in the Chinese version. So there's basically 134 wow. characters now. Wait, there's a Chinese version? Oh yeah, oh, the, mate, the Chinese version is like a whole other thing, you know. Because uh, I was the one who discovered it, like, years ago. And I think I was the first person on YouTube to cover like the stuff that was only available in that version. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. Oh wow! Yeah, for whatever reason, well, China uh, has different versions of all of their games. I mean, so dedicated to this game, you're playing it in different languages. You're playing in different areas of the world. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do you know you gotta do whatever you can for content. Which for me is just to exploit Minion Rush. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> But yeah, wow. but, uh, I mean, no. I got on. It's almost it's been ten years. You oh, playing no. this game? Yeah, yeah, 2013, man. One time. Wow. So I mean, uh, obviously, people who watch me probably won't know who you are. So Ronnie, why don't you tell people what you do on your channel and stuff? Oh uh, yeah. Well, I'm starting to make. Uh, think of making documentaries on my channel. You know, I've always been obsessed with YouTube ever since I was five years old. You know, I've looked at it, looked at all these other channels. You know how they worked, right? And you know, I'm getting millions of views back to back to back. And I'm like, whoa, this is insane. How can I do this? How can, you know, I get this as a job? You know? Yeah. And I've been looking and looking for answers and how this, that, this, that, buying like a book as well. And uh, I think you know a little bit. And you know, I'm just right now, I'm just starting to do editing as to know how it works. And uh, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I remember when you first started out, because you sent me your channel, I was shocked, because I think, you know, that was, I think when you started, it was around when Dream was starting to get popular, right? Like, I think that was mm. roughly yeah, around yeah. the time. And you were starting to make those YouTube shorts, and I was shocked, because it's like, around that time, if I remember correctly, some of your videos were getting more views than mine. It was like, oh, sh I completely forgot to control it. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you, some, some of your videos were getting loads and loads of views, and I was like, how's this guy doing it? And then you were telling me about how you would like, sort of studied the algorithm and stuff, and it's like, jeez, you know? Like, I, I've never done anything like that in all my, almost, in fact, it's been eight years now since I started, so it's like, you know, I, I was really impressed. Yeah, I only thought that, you know, you get views from shorts and all that, but well, now I realise, is they have to actually make longer videos and you know pumping out so if a viewer watches a video all the way 10 minutes long and that video is going to be uh out to the algorithm mm -hmm. like on youtube will promote it and it goes from there if another person watches it it's going to be sent to another seven people or more and yeah. be, and that's how videos get popular it gets sent next person to next person to next person because that's what youtube wants as a platform they want youtube wants people to stay on their platform so brands and all these other people that pay them mm -hmm. and what i like about youtube is they're geniuses they literally don't go up and uh make stuff themselves they ask for the creator and you know youtube a few like years back they said hey we'll give you some money our creators will give you some money if you pump out some uh some of these videos for keeping your viewers on the platform and everyone said, sure, yeah, I'll do that. And it's because some people back then did YouTube as a hobby. Mm -hmm. They never dreamed of doing it as a job. And uh, yeah, it's amazing how much has evolved now. 
Yeah, man. It, it, it is crazy, you know. Also, I died again because I'm really not as good at this uh, game as I no. used to be. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree with you, man. It's like, you know, it is crazy how the platform's developed. I mean, I think the, the key to, like, knowing YouTube and stuff, you know, sort of, like, getting good at it is, is to, once you've built a smaller audience, you really need to start, like, hammering down on what that audience wants. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, in my case, I love making my films and stuff. In fact, I've got another one coming out next week, but, um... Oh, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good one. It's based on Better Call Saul, so it's, uh... It's, uh oh! series now. Can't wait. Oh, no, it, it's, it's funny. Ethan's coming back for it. It's going to be mm. great. But yeah, um, basically, you know, like I love making my films and stuff, but I started my channel making the Minion Rush content. So mm -hmm. I sort of got really well known for Minion Rush to the point where I got the world record and stuff to now where the point is that my name is sort of associated with the game. It's like if you say my name wow. to people, Thanks. not many people will recognize me, but if they do, they'll say, oh yeah, it's the Minion guy, the Minion Rush guy. And it's like, once you get that sort of idea, people aren't going to start to want to watch your other content, like for example my films. So, what yeah. I did, is I promoted my films using Minion Rush. At the start of some of my Minion Rush videos, I would say, hey, go check out this film. I even did a thing where I put some of the characters from the films into the game. So, you know, that was sort of like, it, it was sort of like cross-promotion between the two things, and it really worked to promote the films. Um, in fact, you, you know Alfie, don't you, from PQA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he even made like two Minion Rush videos at one point to promote the film, and they actually were his two most viewed videos because it was like I taught him how to pander to Minion Rush fans and stuff. It was like yeah, it was a whole interesting thing. It's just how YouTube works is just smart. It's very very clever. Mhm. Mm and I like how I think YouTube is going to survive longer for Netflix, right? Really? And I'll tell you why. It's because Netflix goes up to this person pays them a hundred million to make a series that'll make you listen for four hours, right? Mm -hmm. YouTube pays, I don't know, like Joe Logan zero million to make a four hours content that people watch every single day. Yeah. Well, like, it's not even YouTube, it's Spotify, but people still watch the clips as well. Oh no, yeah. It's because of the ad revenue, right? It's like because, um, yeah. you know, I think... Damn. I think for some of Netflix's original shows, they do actually pay, like, you know, producers and whatever to make the content, but YouTube, it's like, anyone can put it on there, and the ads come directly from YouTube, it's not like an individual creator thing, everyone gets the ads so long as they're el eligible. Yeah, I think there's about, like, 6 billion uh, videos uploaded, or 4 billion videos uploaded every single day on YouTube, which, that's so real. Wait, you know really? I mean? how many? For, uh, I don't know, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But I think it's about like four billion. Jesus. Yeah. I think that's hours of content, right? That's uploaded. Yeah, yeah. More, more, more than hundreds of hours, mate. More than hundreds. Probably days. Not no, even no. hours. I'm calling days of uh, videos. No, it is. It's nuts. You know, how the platforms grow, and even since I started, is crazy. I mean, I had two channels mm. before I had this one. I had a Minecraft one for like a year. Um, oh yeah, what's the net called? Like Jaden tries Minecraft. No, yeah. that that was still this channel. I had one before it called Jaden Works. It's actually still up. You can still find it on YouTube. Um, ah, but then I had one before cool. that, which was me. Um, it was just me and my dad making like stop motion videos and stuff, and I died again. Um, no. Nah, nice. But that didn't really ah. go anywhere. But yeah, uh, nah, nah. It's uh, it's just just nuts how much longevity the platforms had. But anyway. Um, you said to me before I started the video that you have had a little bit of experience with Minion Rush. So, what, what, do you, what did you think to the game back when you played it? Ah, uh, bro, I don't even know. I was like, I don't know, like seven, nine? Oh, yeah. When I played it, yeah, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it how it works. No, it's, I know. It's, I'm pretty it's, sure it's I good. came back to Minion Rush just to, like, figure out how to play it with you. And then, like, I got so confused with it. I was like, <laughs> Screw this, I'm out. It is funny. They tried to simplify the game with the new celebration update, but all they did is make it more confusing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, you know, the old game where you had the levels and stuff that you had to work through, that was like peak minion rush. Now it's just, it's just not that good of a game anymore, to be honest. No, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd be lying if I were to say that I didn't just do it for the people that watch me now. I definitely don't play the game just because I enjoy it anymore. Mm. Oh, well, I died. Ah! Happens to the best of us, you know. Rest in peace, Kevin. You will be missed. Yeah.
but yeah, man, that's uh, that's Hippie Kevin. You know, what do you what do you what do you think? You know, is he is he a cool designed costume? Because I, I think he's a pretty decent Kevin. Yeah, I think he looks good. You know, I mean, it's insane how much detail for putting on the minions after all this all these years of uh, this game being up. Oh no, yeah, it's, you know? been, it's been out for years. And Even years. though he does look like a homeless person, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he does a little bit. It looks like someone like you see on an alleyway. <laughs> Kevin's gonna offer you some dodgy substances. Exactly, exactly, bro. <laughs> but anyway, guys, no you know, that has been Hippie Kevin, our brand new minion from this update. I would also like to uh, point out to you guys that King Bob is available in the new Power Ops event. This is the first time he's been available since he was given out for free. You can also Wait. buy him in the shop. He's a very cool minion. Don't know whether I recommend you pay for him, but if you want to go ahead and try and earn him, that option's there for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you all go check out Ronnie's channel. Trust me, there's some really, really great content on there. So yeah. Not really right now, but soon there will be. Well, Don't worry, soon there will be. Yeah, let, let's, hope, let's hope for good stuff soon. But yeah, everyone, thank you so much yeah. for watching. And us two, we'll see you guys later. In a bit. Goodbye. <laughs>